2019, unfortunately, was a terrible year for disease in just about every crop there is. Well, we want to talk today about focusing on corn and how can you prevent some of the more minor diseases that are out there. First of all, let's talk about some of the things that happened in 2018 that led into more problems in 2019. The first one I want to start with is anthracnose stalk rot. In 2018, many of the hybrids that were winning a lot of the yield competitions were hybrids that had great tolerance to anthracnose stalk rot. And many farmers would say, well, that was a big deal in 2018. I'm not going to worry about it. But here's the thing. When you have a disease like that, where does it overwinter? much of this and, and with a lot of the diseases we're going to talk about today they're going to overwinter in the residue and if you go corn on corn now you've got that much more inoculum out in your field you're going to have an even bigger problem especially if the weather goes against you like 2019 did many of the same areas that were wet in 2018 were wet again in 2019 we saw a lot of anthracnose stalk rot this past season and it's certainly one if i'm going to plant corn in 2020 I would say, you know, I probably better put it on soybean ground or on uh, ground that had another crop besides corn. And if I'm planting onto corn ground, I absolutely better have a variety with great tolerance to anthracnose because this is one of those diseases that fungicides just aren't really effective on. So we can do a lot of the right things along the way. We've got to have good hybrid tolerance and hopefully some crop rotation in our favor too. Okay, but as soon as you hear Darren say, it happens more in continuous corn. Well, yes, crop rotation's there, but the other thing you might be thinking about is tillage. Will tillage help? Absolutely, tillage is going to help. When you do tillage, there are certainly negative ramifications to that, but if you can do some tillage, you will reduce the overall disease pressure for the future. In addition to that, I would just say, take a look at your drainage. Take a look at your overall fertility program. A lot of the disease issues that I saw this year were because the plant wasn't healthy to begin with. It's just like human beings. If we're not healthy to begin with, we're much more likely to have some kind of disease issue. So again, drainage and really take a look at the overall fertility program, not just N, P, and K, but also the secondary nutrients and the micronutrients as well. All right, let's talk about another disease that we don't really have a great answer for. It's Holcus leaf spot. And when I say this, if you know much about diseases, you're probably like, Holcus, that's not a big deal. We don't hardly ever see that hurt yield. And I would agree with you in 2019. I can't say that I walked a field that I said, oh, the Holcus is so bad here, we're going to lose yield. But I did see Holcus in a lot of fields in 2019. It's a bacterial disease. It's not quite to the extent that bacterial leaf streak or Goss's wilt have become, but it is still one you want to watch out for. We do see some differences in hybrid tolerance here as well, and that's probably your best bet for protecting your fields. All right, we have three other quick diseases we wanted to talk about. Darren, common rust, what would you do? Normally it's not a big deal, but I'd certainly use a couple different applications of fungicide. I'd start early before tassel, and then I'd come back with another one after. How about Fusarium crown rot? Fusarium crown rot is a product of this wet year that we had once again. Use a great seed treatment, and I also like putting a fungicide in furrow, especially on early planted stuff that's going to be out there in cold, wet soils. The last one is physoderma. What do you suggest? Physoderma is a bad problem. We're looking at hybrid tolerance, and here's one where most seed companies don't have good ratings yet, but it, talk to your seed provider about this. Find a hybrid that can tolerate it, because if you don't have good hybrid tolerance, it's really tough to stop physoderma. It's a problem that I would say five years from now is probably going to be a lead topic on our show. So we don't know if 2020 is going to be a wet year or not. We don't know if it's going to be hot or cold. We just don't know if there's going to be a lot of disease pressure at all. But the whole thing is if you have wet conditions in the fall, or if you had wet conditions in the fall of 2019, you know already going into 2020, you're more likely to have an issue. So just make sure you're doing everything you can in terms of drainage, fertility, and picking the right hybrids. Oh, and again, tillage absolutely can help. It's just you may or may not want to do tillage depending on all the other aspects of your farm. Well, some of those things, Brian, could even help with weed control. We'll show you what will stop our weed of the week coming up next.